the Prada leg dupe boots. Because I was looking for a pair of Prada dupe boots. It's so weird saying Prada dupe boots. Prada boot dupes. Bada bop boom pow, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deej Morrison and I am back with another video. As you can tell by the title, today we are doing a shoe haul. This is my very first shoe haul on the channel, period, okay? Um, I got some shoes from Shein, Ego, and Fashion Nova. Um, for those of you who don't know, I do wear a size 11, so I got some pretty big stompers, okay? Big, big old feet like La Cianica Boulevard has. Like it's these stupid feet! Oh, now come on, I bet they're not so bad. like my feet are huge um and so it's hard to find like shoes that like fit me that are cute still stylish still giving that you know are comfortable that are supportive that are you know everything that a girl needs in a shoe um it's very very hard so i thought i would share with you guys what i got the good the bad all of it is going to be in this video so if you're interested in seeing this size 11 wide foot flat foot friendly okay try on shoe haul i guess <laughs> um keep on watching make sure you like comment and subscribe join the family period okay come on you know we're lit over here just go on i'll wait Purr. okay and let's get into the haul all right you guys i'm gonna start off with the shoes that i bought on shein so i think i'm gonna do shein ego fashion nova yeah i think that's how i'm gonna do this so i just wanted to show you guys the bag that two of these shein shoes came in which i thought was really cool so they came in a bag like this which i don't know about you guys but i actually really liked because a very small closet and i don't have space for all these goddamn boxes and then too like getting rid of the boxes is such a pain in the ass so i love the fact that they came in these like bags i just thought that was pretty cool so i'm gonna take it out and then i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like all right you guys so i got the shoe out of the bag and so yeah this is what they look like they are super cute giving very much spring and summer vibes i got them in white because i feel like it will go with a lot of outfits especially like lighter color like pastels and stuff i think white complements those really nicely and in terms of the fit i think the, the fit was pretty decent um it was a little tight on the top here again because my feet are super wide and as well as being flat so i think given that these still fit pretty nice again these don't come in like a wide fit or style or anything like that but they still did fit me pretty decent i think that once i wear them a couple of times this might stretch out and get a little bit more comfortable hopefully but overall i think this is a really decent shoe i love the block heel and it's not too high so i feel like this is a nice like day party shoe that you could wear um and your feet won't be like killing you like they would if you were like wearing heels or something so i don't know i really like these i like how they lace up and overall they were pretty comfortable so i think that this is a go so shout out to shein for the cute shoes for the big stomp of girls like me period and yeah let's get into the next shoe all right you guys so the next pair of shoes that i got are these black ones and oh my god these are so freaking cute i love them okay so these ones are a little bit higher than the white ones and they don't have like the wooden heel it's just a solid black heel to kind of match the rest of the shoe and again these fit really really well i actually think these fit a lot better than the other ones because this is a little bit more you know loose and i think there's a little bit more strap on this one compared to the white one but to me these fit a lot better a lot more comfortable on the top um, and again, they were pretty good for my feet that are wide and flat. Um, and I think overall, these are really, really nice. They're very similar to the white ones, but they're just kind of black with the higher heel. But overall, I think these also fit pretty well. And I think Shein is doing pretty good so far. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit worried about these because, again, Shein, I just feel like the shoes would have been a bit more of a smaller cut coming from China. I know that they do have different sizing up there. Um, and a lot of the stuff is a lot smaller than what we anticipate for in like Canada and the US. So I was really, really surprised that these actually fit me and they fit well. It's not like my feet were hanging off the back or my feet were like going out the front. So I think that that was pretty good and they're comfortable. And even like the insole part is like nice and soft. It's not too, too hard. 
I just think overall these were really nice, especially given the price. I think I paid about $22 once I used my coupon code, obviously, for these, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll have everything linked down below. But I think overall, um, I'm really, really a fan of these. I love how they fit. Even the quality feels pretty good. And I think, again, these would be great for like a day party. I could also see this, you know, wearing this out later in the evening, given this the heel and everything like that. I think this one's a little bit more sleek, but I really, really like them. So, so far, Shein is, Shein is giving, period. So let's get into the next pair of shoes. All right, you guys. So the next pair of shoes that I have are these. And these, again, are from Shein. And I don't know, these are giving me like Bottega vibes i don't know if that's right but that's what they're giving me so um these are how they look they have like the square front the quilted top and it's very much giving kitten heel i'm not really a fan of kitten heels but i just really liked these for some reason i just feel like these would look really really nice with like some brown leather pants or something i don't know i feel like it's a whole vibe and i just loved the nude color i don't actually have many pairs of nude colored shoes so that's why I chose this color. They did come in a, come a variety of colors. I think they had like white, black, a darker brown if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know, I just really wanted a nude pair of shoes. So that's why I picked these up. Um, in terms of the fit of this, these actually fit really, really well if you have white feet. Like I think that for a wide foot person, like my feet just went into this easily. I didn't have to wiggle or tussle or fight with it. My foot just went right in. The only thing that I would say about these shoes is that my feet were like sliding especially like once you like lotion up your feet i was gonna say grease up your foot but once you put like lotion on your feet um they're definitely going to slide so just keep that in mind maybe i don't know if you can maybe put some like those little grip thingies in here but your feet are definitely gonna slide in this especially if you one have lotion just just lotioned your feet or if you have like sweaty feet um and your feet start to get like you know kind of like sticky and wet like your foot is definitely going to slide in this shoe that's the only thing that i really really noticed about it is that my foot felt like it just was like going and going and going but from a fit standpoint they definitely did fit they are a true 11 and they're very very much wide foot friendly so if you are looking for a bottega zoo honey look no further they're right here sweetie so <laughs> yeah let's get into the next shoe Okay, so the next pair of shoes that I have, and these are going to be the last pair of shoes that I have from Shein, are these boots. And they were the Prada-like dupe boots. Because I was looking for a pair of Prada dupe boots. It's so weird saying Prada dupe boots. Prada boot dupes. Bada bop boom pow, okay? I was looking for a pair of the Prada dupes of those, you know, those boots that everybody has. Um, because I'm not paying $3,000 for a pair of boots. I may not have that, okay? So I was looking for a cute pair of dupes. So I picked these up. And unfortunately, they were too tight, okay? Like, my toe was literally touching the front of this. Like, I, I couldn't wear this for more than two seconds. Like, my foot went in, it zipped and everything. But, like, my toes were, like, literally, like, talons in the front of this. Like, it just it wasn't cute and i really liked them because like i liked the quilted part it was reminding me kind of chanel i don't know like i just thought they were cute they were a good price and they had a little pocket thing and what i also liked about these is that they zipped on the inside so it was really easy to put them on and off and then this is like like a velcro piece so it's easy to adjust it and like do what you gotta do so i liked them for that and they're honestly like pretty solid you know they're not too heavy but they're not too light they're just really really good like from a quality standpoint i think that they looked pretty nice but they were definitely too tight not a true 11 at all um and i actually got this in a 43 so okay so the two heels that i got they were in straight size 11 um but for some reason oh and also the um actually no so this sorry guys these and the brown bottega dupes came in european sizes but the first two shoes were in size 11 so i got this in actually a 43 which i actually think is um i don't know the conversion but maybe i'll put it on the screen for you guys but a 43 is actually much bigger than an 11 if i'm not mistaken and these were still too tight so these were way too small so i don't know the european sizing conversion on there is not working i got this in a 43 i actually got the bottega dupes in a 44 
um so honestly i think i might stay away from ordering the european sized um shoes because i don't know the sizing is just weird and make sure you read the reviews too because i find that those help but unfortunately these prada boot dupes were too small but there is light at the end of the tunnel okay so when i show you guys the next pair of shoes i got okay we we're gonna be live so let's get into that <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're gonna get started with the Ego um, official shoes. And like in the last clip I was telling you guys, I gotta show you what I ended up getting because my first Prada boot dupes did not fit. Um, so I got these and these fit so well. And I actually feel like they look a little bit more true to like the Prada boots. Um, but these fit like a dream, like they fit perfectly. As you can tell, they probably do look kind of bigger than the other ones um and ego obviously comes in different um sizing it came in uk sizing not european sizing uk sizing so i got this in a uk 9 which is a um canadian us 11 and these fit perfectly my feet weren't like scrunching up in the front like i could wear them with a pair of socks and still be comfortable in these so they were perfect and again they fit wide flat feet so that was great I love this. So the other one was more like um, like the Chanel quilted type. This is more like a nylon material. Um, and I like too that this one actually has a buckle instead of the other one had the Velcro. So I think the buckle looks a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more, you know, rich, expensive. It's, it's a little bit more luxe. I think the quality of this one is way nicer. It's way sturdier. Um, the only thing that I liked more on the other one was that it had the zipper on the inside, but these ones aren't very hard to go on, so it's okay without it, but I did really like the zipper on the other ones. But yeah, you can definitely tell that this is more of an 11, so I have the other one here to kind of put them up against each other to see what the sizing difference is. So this is the Shein one, and this is the Ego Official one, and yeah, you guys can kind of see how they kind of look the same but this one i think the equal one looks slightly taller than it and then you can see that the um heels are different so the sheen heel is longer than this one but yeah these ones fit really well and they were a lot more comfortable and true to size so I would go with these ones based on size and Eagle Official actually has a lot of different like styles and color waves of the Prada boot dupes so if you're still looking for that I would definitely say check out Eagle Official. So yeah let's get into my next pair of shoes from Ego. Alright you guys so we have our first fail of the day okay and it is these dupes of the Hermes slippers that I got. I just really wanted a pair of these to kind of like knock around in for the summer. You know, sometimes you just have a simple outfit on, a simple dress on, you just want to put a quick, easy shoe. So I was like, oh, you know, these would be super cute with a bathing suit, you know, stuff like that. So I got these. But as you guys can tell by the clip, these did not fit me at all. Like, I had to like fight my way to get in here and it just looked a hot mess. So these are definitely a no-go. These are not true 11, not true to size, not, I repeat, not wide foot friendly, okay? They just did not give anything. Like I can't even get away with wearing these, so I might sell them. Um, Cause they say they were a UK nine, so it's supposed to be an 11. They didn't fit me, my mom wears a 10. They didn't fit her either. So I think this is more like a regular US 9, so maybe I'll try to sell them or something, but they definitely were not an 11. They weren't giving 11 energy, they weren't giving wide foot energy, they weren't giving flat foot energy, they were not giving, okay? But I mean, from a quality standpoint, they, they are pretty nice. It's like, um, like, um, what's this called? Croc embossed type of material. I don't know, it's not really showing that well on the camera, but that's the kind of material that it is. And they are very much giving Hermes dupes, so I don't know, but they didn't fit, so yeah. Let's get into the next pair of shoes. Alright you guys, so the next pair of shoes that I have here are these black heels that I got on Ego. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen these on my story last week I posted them. But yeah, it's these black heels. I absolutely adore these. I think these are my favorite shoes out of this entire haul. Um, what I really love about them is the square front. I just, I don't know, it's just so like sexy, classy, sleek, and it would go with so much stuff because of how simple it is. 
and because it's black it literally goes with everything so i really really like these i just love the simple detailing the knots it's just so cute and another thing that i really really love about these shoes and i think my plus size ladies will love is this heel it's just a thicker heel um, and it's more wide it's not chunky but it is wider in the back and i think it just supports my weight really well and it doesn't feel so wobbly like some of the thinner heels that i've i've had or that i've tried on i just love this wide heel it just feels super sturdy it makes you feel super comfortable and confident walking in these knowing that you're not about to drop down so i love these these are my favorite shoes so far and again it's the square toes for me it's just well not toes but it's a square front for me like it's giving one of tight pants on a square front shoes okay that makes no sense but i really like these so yeah let's get into the next pair of shoes all right you guys so the last pair of shoes that i got from ego was a pair of boots and they're just these simple like sock boot type of style um i don't want to rest it on anything because i already wore them outside so they're kind of like dirty so i don't want to rest them on my table so that's why i'm holding them like this but these shoes are super comfortable very easy to get into they don't have a zipper or anything but like because they're like a sock boot style and this part is kind of like stretchy it's easy to just slip your foot right in and again they have like a thicker chunkier heel so they're super comfortable and like you can wear this with like you know a skirt or a dress i think it's more of like a fall winter style boot but super comfortable um and they're like a suede material but i really really like them and they were also really cheap i got them for 17 dollars, which is a steal for a pair of boots so yeah they fit really well again they're obviously wide foot friendly the suede material is a little stretchy so i think that is a plus but yeah they're really really nice so i have no complaints about those and yeah so i'm going to show you guys my last three pairs of shoes that are from fashion nova so let's get into that all right you guys so the first pair of shoes that i got on fashion nova are these boots right here and they're just super cute i don't know they really were giving me like yeezy vibes i don't know i just really like them i really liked the material it just it was like a sock boot type of style um you definitely can't wear these if it's raining or if it's wet outside or like it's snowing because i could really see these becoming ugly very fast especially because it's a lighter color but i really love the style and like how it just looks like a pair of socks over like some heels or something i just thought that was really really cool and again i don't have a lot of nude colored shoes so i was just kind of in a phase where i felt like buying nude colored shoes so yeah these are really nice um in terms of the fit i think they fit really well for wider flat feet they fit my feet really well and they weren't you know too uncomfortable or anything like that um they're as comfortable as a pair of heels especially heels like this gets so i'm not surprised that it's not the most comfortable boot that you could walk in for days and days on end but it's very cute stylish type of boot so i like them they fit me really well i have no complaints on that front and yeah they're super cute soft type of style so yeah these are pretty good i can't complain um let's get into the next pair of boots all right guys so the next pair of shoes i have are boots um actually so i only have two more shoes left and they are boots i know you're thinking you know it's going into like spring summer why are you buying boots but if you really think about it when you buy things off season they're on sale so they're cheaper okay so i got these boots for like twenty dollars seventeen dollars sixteen dollars and that's because it was going you know out of out of season but these are pretty like standard style boots that i can still wear next winter so they'll still be in style they'll still be whatever but they're cheap now so I'm just saying think about it if you buy the stuff off season when they're on sale then you spend less money so you can buy more clothes that's that's how i think about it so think about that <laughs> but yes so the next pair of shoes i have are these brown boots and you guys would have seen these already again if you follow me on instagram or if you watched my ivy park haul where i styled my outfit and i did wear these boots in it so yeah these are from fashion nova super cute really 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 nice color i love the brown that's why i bought them it was really based off of the color um the heel is very wobbly like even when i wore them i was just it was wobbling but again i'm not like a professional heel walker so you probably like if you're good with heels these will be fine but i did find them very wobbly 
but I really really like these honestly I have no complaints other than what I said about the heel but they're really nice comfortable great foot on my wide flat feet and I also really like the material it's like a nylon type style and I don't know they're just super fire to me I really really like them so yeah let's get into the last pair of shoes okay so the last pair of boots that I got are these and they did not fit me um I mean you'll see in the clip like they they went on and like you know they zipped up but they were really really painfully tight like it was just not bearable like I couldn't even take a couple of steps in those like they were extremely tight so that was kind of sad it's weird how the other two boots fit but these ones didn't I don't know why but I really liked them because of like the little studs on the like outside part here i just thought it was really cute and a little more of a pop than you know a plain black pair of boots and also the heel seemed like something that would be comfortable to walk in and wear for longer periods of time so i was like oh this is gonna be super fire um oh i just noticed actually that it has like this suede part on the bottom which is probably really good for like slip um so that's also cool but too bad because they don't fit me but they're way too tight like painful so i'm probably gonna give them to my mom she wears a size 10 so these should fit her um but yeah they were just too tight like if it wasn't so tight um they would have been really really nice but i feel like they fit more like a 10 or maybe 10 and a half not a true 11 these were crazy tight but the style is cute it's a nice suede material but yeah was a no-go so that's that all right, you guys, so that concludes the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you, especially if you have bigger or flatter or wide feet. I hope this could kind of help you gauge if you can buy your shoes on one of these websites so you don't waste any of your hard-earned coins, please, because I know y'all be working hard for your money, period. I can relate. So yeah, um, that is the video. If you liked this video, make sure you leave me a like and a comment. That really helps out my channel. I really appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe and join the family because we have a lot more videos coming up. So you don't want to miss that. Make sure you turn on your post notifications and stay in the loop. Okay, period. That's the video for today, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.